but we will get here and in this video I'm going to be taking a look at Cyanogen Mod 11 on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Um, just to say first off this is an an official version and I have the name and link to that in the description so you could go and check it out. Um, this one, the, why, the reason why I chose that an official version because it has a lot more uh, additional features and a lot more stuff that you could do with it over the um, official one. So. Yeah, like I said before, I have the link to that in the description. And just to say, I am running a custom kernel on this, and that is Yank's uh, kernel. I have the link to that, and I'll talk about that later on. So, we're going to take a look at some of the features that you get with this. So, you can see right now, I'm running a custom theme. So, it's going to look a little bit different. This is the theme that I like. And the theme that I'm running, if you're interested, is this one. MI UI version 5. You can get that off the marketplace. So, you can see... Um, some of the features that you get with it is personalization, you go to lock screen, um, you got eight targets, so when you have the uh, phone locked and you got these different targets, you can set multiple ones, say for example you wanted to open up the internet browser there, the um, Instagram app there, camera and then unlock it, you could add, add up to eight which I think is pretty cool and you could customize it like that. So you can see the slider targets, you could pick which one you want. I've only got the camera and the unlock button one set up now, but you could, like I said, customize up. You could also have shortcuts. Um, you could also have your notifications on your lock screen. So as you get messages and stuff like that, you could have it appear on your lock screen. But I disabled that because I really don't want anybody seeing any of my emails and messages and stuff like that. Um, security, you could add your password and stuff on there like that. And another little thing that I did like about this is... Um, when you take this box it has the lock screen come up so you slide to unlock and then you go in and enter your pin which I think is a nice little um, bonus. I really do like that feature in the, these ROMs. Um, battery status, you can show the battery um, status on the screen if you want to but the battery's up there already so I don't really need to. Um, action buttons, custom widgets, you could enable um, widgets if you want that. Themes like I just showed you, I showed you which theme I'm rocking, that's the system one, I'm using that one. Um, this is the dark theme. Yeah, you'll see the difference if you're on. If I wasn't running a theme, you'd actually see the difference. But it just makes it gives it a dark UI. Um, this is the ROM that I'm using, the spare parts. So these are all the additional features that you know you get with this specific ROM. So you've got the status bar, you can customize it. I right now I've got a customizer battery icon. You could change it to any of these ones if your percentage circle, circle with percentage, which is the one I'm using right now. And you could change the color of it if you want. Like I've got it set to blue and white. You could change this if you want to. to do, let's give it a little green. Change that to green. You know, just really customize it up and you know the way that you want it to. And you've got some other things here: network traffic meter, double tap to sleep, um, show notification count. You could have that enabled. Brightness control. You got notifications, so you can hide notification labels, and you can add your own custom one. Like I've got there, I've got um, Oi Walker there. So you could make your own custom one, or you could just have it as set to your network. Um, transparency of the notifications, shortcuts, um, tiles and layout. So when you swipe down here, you can actually customize all of these stuff, and you can add in more that you want. So you got a big list, so you could add in LT, Sync, you could reboot, NFC. All of these are different ones you could add in, so that's pretty cool. And you can move them around and delete the ones that you don't um, really use. Um, smart pull down, you got all of these are uh, different um, options that you could change here. I'll try to get through these as quickly as possible. You got all of these features. If you really want to get customizing your um, phone, you really look into these features and what they do and really customize it the way that you want. Low battery warning, pop up sound. You could have that disabled. Uh, light warning. Just been into that. Screen and animation. Active display. North, lock screen notifications, which I said before. You could have the notifications sent to your lock screen, but I disabled that because uh, privacy concerns. Um, and all of these other stuff to do. General settings. Reset RAM bar. So you can show CPU info right there, it shows all your CPU info. If you really um, like overclocking and stuff like that, that, that could be very useful. And let's go back, um, got navigation here. So you've got hardware buttons. So another neat feature is you could actually map these buttons. So um, you could map the back button. So if you don't want it to go back, you could set it to anything else. Or when you press the back button, it could open up a, a, any application that you want. You could kill application. 
at the back button when I long press the back button it automatically kills the application which I think is a nice useful feature if you just want to shut down the application completely and you know stop it from using running in the background and using up extra battery especially if it's like a game or anything like that home button could customize the home button and what the home button does and the menu button as well so that's pretty cool they could customize it navigation bar and global menu so when you hold down the power button you can customize what comes up that's pretty cool um, you got Halo, if you know what Halo is, um, I don't really know much about this but if you know what it is, it's there as well and it works. Um, and you got sound, buttons, there's a bunch of different um, customization settings that you can you know go into and stuff like that. And down here you got super user and you got performance so if you're interested in you know um, overclocking and underclocking and all of that stuff you can do that. This one is actually overclocked to 2.5 gigahertz. So you can see right there, I'm running that with the custom kernel, which is Yank's kernel. Um, I have the link to that as well in the description, but the kernel is pretty much amazing. I get amazing battery life out of it. Normally get about three hours on screen time, and I probably could get more because I'm mostly, mostly playing games on here, and that's why I only get three hours. But if I didn't play games and I just used it um, normally without playing games, I could probably get um, close to four, maybe five hours. So on screen time, so that's pretty good. Um, Barrel iPhone, this is amazing with the uh, kernel, so definitely check this out, even though it's overclocked at 2.5 gigahertz. Um, speaking more about the um, kernel, um, if you use the custom settings on the kernel when you install it, it changes the screen. Um, AMOLED screens normally have this kind of um, warmish, like colourful kind of look. Uh, I don't know how to describe it, but you know how AMOLED screens look. This one, it kind of gets rid of that and it adds um, more normal colors and it looks the screen quality looks much better with this um kernel so if you, if you don't really like how amoled screens look definitely go try this kernel out um uh, it works wonders so i think that's about it don't want to don't want this video to drag on too long this is just a quick look at sand ninja mod 11 if you love sand ninja mod 11 it works great on the note 3 and the battery life is really good as well um I haven't been using it that much. I've got 75% left and I've been 1 hour 47 minutes on screen time so far. So that's pretty good. So one thing I also want to show you really quick. Uh, this is the battery life that I've got. Um, I think it was yesterday I got this one. I took it. I had 1% left. I've got 3 hours and 18 minutes. And that's with pretty heavy usage. I've been playing this game pretty much all day throughout those 3 hours. And that's why that's why I could, um, didn't get a little bit more, but I could get more if I didn't play that game. But that's just to give you an idea of what the battery life is like, and it's pretty damn good. It could easily get you through a day or two. So yeah, let's come out of that. And yeah, I think that's about it for the uh, video. This is Cyanogen Mod running on the Note 3. If you have any questions or um, you want this on your phone and your Note 3, I have the link to that in the description or just leave your comments in the comment section down below them and what you think. Do you like it? Do you have it already? Are you running it? Are you going to try it? Leave all that good stuff in the comment section down below. And yeah, that's about it for the video. Thanks for watching. Peace.